He long. Nigga, nigga reaches what, 76? Like 76? Nigga long. Yeah, it's reaching about 76, 78. Yeah, some shit like that. Something like that. <laughs> shit, what? I jumped in the ring with that nigga. That nigga hit me with about four, five of them long ass jabs. I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, shit. So, uh, he be all right. His mom on some clout chasing shit. Talking about, I'm about to go protest in front of the county jail to let him out on house arrest. Lady, what the f you even talking about right oh now? What are you doing? <laughs> <going out? laughs> Said you're gonna have your son looking weak. You ain't even talked to him. He ain't even called your phone. You gonna drive two hours. You live two hours away from LA County. Come out. Letting my son out on house arrest. Lady, what are you, but, but yet you ain't been to one court day. In the last five years I've been fighting cases, she ain't been to one court date. But she gonna pop not up one. at this one and but she gonna say she free my son and they gonna free him. LA County jail. <laughs> Talking about free my son. Right, right. You ain't wrote the judge a letter. You ain't did none of that shit. That's why that's what he told. He said, My problem with you is instead of you being the mother of a celebrity, you wanna be a celebrity mom. And that's my problem with you. You doing you clout chasing, you doing all this weird shit, you turning cameras on me. You don't want you the reason why the world know my address. You turned on the camera. Right. So you know. Here's what it is. I said, lady, you ain't even talked to the man. I know he ain't called you. You you guys are literally out there fighting over Jonathan <laughs> like he's some type of god. I'm good. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm good. So it's um it's 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 nice to see that many people care about my child that I brought into this world. <laughs> you met my son when he was all of grown. <laughs> you met my son when he was grown. And it's nice of you to try to come in and make some money off of him and then try to act like you his daddy. You can't be his daddy. You can't all you could do is be somebody that that's making money off him. That's all you could do. You cannot, you can't go to God and talk about that child. You shouldn't be talking to anyone about that child's parents because we were present, because we raised our son, because we put our son through college, because we put our son through high school, because we did, we did what your parents didn't do. We kept him off the streets and out of jail and out of prison his, his entire, until he turned grown. Jonathan did not get grown or have any problems until he met these people and so he ran into this money So Jonathan has to figure this out for himself and I'm gonna be here No matter what happens no matter how it goes until the Lord says he got it. Okay So I appreciate everybody fighting over my son and looking at him like he's some type of God But I want you guys to know he is a child on a journey on a mission just like the rest of us and I am a very patient person because I know how God works, okay? I done seen it my whole life. I'm not getting ready to argue and fight with you about my child. You can't put my on nothing that got to do with Jonathan. He's your artist, that's it. <laughs> I don't. We don't see you doing nut shit with your son, making your son no star. We created him, me, his father, and God. You was nowhere around. And I'm very sorry that your mom and dad didn't give a fuck about you to do nothing special for you. That's not our problem and that's not our fault. My son ain't never seen a foster home. My son ain't never seen a report card that was fucked up, okay? My son ain't never seen none of the shit that you have seen. You guys are not the same, okay? So you work for my son. Let's always remember our place, okay? God put you on earth to work for my son. That's it. That's it and that's all. What is up, you guys? It's your girl, the real Mrs. J. And you guys, listen. <laughs> Y'all know I was going to come through and talk about this because this right here is ridiculous. Now, the first video, of course, well, audio that you heard, it was WAC 100. Always on um, Clubhouse, gossiping like a little biz naive constantly gossiping all the time like he act like a freaking female and the fact that he's sitting here not knowing his place 
and talking about Blueface's mom. He was literally talking about her like she was his baby mama or something. When the last time you didn't, you ain't never been to a court date. And this and that sounded like that's his baby mother. What is wrong with this dude? And and I fought Blueface for this because no matter what him and his mom go through, Wax should not be speaking on their family business. He should not be speaking on their family business. Now he's sitting in a setting like he in a damn beauty salon with the rest of the damn women gossiping and telling all this man's business and, and the conversation that this man done had with him about his mom. But you always talking about somebody is clout chasing all the time. You're the number one clout chaser because you always got blue face, Krishan, uh, Jaden, Kalissa or somebody in your damn mouth all the time. You talk more about them than you even talk about your own wife. I didn't even know his wife was a real estate agent until that whole situation with Jaden and Jaden getting her place. I didn't know because that's all he talk about. And he talk about Blueface like Blueface is his man. Then he talking about him like that's his his child. Like that's your artist. You work for him. Like she said, work. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Working. Not gossiping about his business. Not trying to tell him how to run his life. That's not your job. That is not your job. And at the end of the day, people feel a way about Kalissa and how Kalissa talk about her kids or whatever, what have you. But at the end of the day, those are her kids. That's it. And that's all. Those are her kids. And she's right. None of us, don't nobody know. They, everybody's come to know him, know Blueface is a, as an adult. But she ain't been to a court date in five years. Okay, so what about the other 20-some years that she's been there? When she took care of them, fed them, clothed them, and all of that stuff. That's her child. And she right. At the end of the day, he is going to have to come back and see her. He is. He don't have no wife. If something was to happen to him today or tomorrow, his mom and his dad would be the ones that's responsible for him. And for his well-being, not nobody else, not none of these people talking trash right now and stating their opinions on how they feel about his mama and he not talking to his mama and he a grown man, this, that, and the other. That's his damn next to kin. And that's who they're going to call if something happened to him. They're going to call his mother. Not Wack 100, not Krishan, not Jaden, not none of them. They're going to call his mom. But that is her child at the end of the day. And he is crossing the line and he need to shut his whack ass up. But anyway, you guys, y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all know how we do it in my comments. Whether you agree or you disagree, I love to hear your opinion. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. The Real Mrs. J. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Thank you.